Hey, Tuatara Nation, I am with the latest signing in the Auckland Tuatara Pathways program, and a welcome to Tane Mumu, uh, who's been good enough to join us. Congratulations, Tane. Um, obviously got the uh, the contract all signed and announced now, first of the, the Wellingtonians. Uh, mate, how does it feel to, to say that you're um, you're with the Tuatara? No, yeah, it's pretty cool. I remember uh, watching them uh, a couple of years ago and always wanting to put the jersey on. So, yeah, just honoured and yeah, very, very thankful for the opportunity to be included into those pathways. Yeah. Mate, it's great to have you. Um, there's, there's, as I say, a number of Wellingtonian player, Wellington-based players that are likely to be part of this this program. What does it sort of mean to you to be the first of them to be announced? No, yeah, it's pretty cool. I know... Um, Working along with all the boys, we've all been um, like aspiring to be in the tour tires and to be picked first is pretty cool. And yeah, just hopefully try and set the path for all the young ones in Wellington looking to aspire to be in the tour tires too one day. Mate, you had a, a huge reaction to your signing, to your announcement. Um, lots of the comments on the Facebook page, either extremely popular or, um, you know, this, this signing's certainly gone down well uh, in, in that community. Yeah. A uh, few family and friends back home support me heaps. Yeah, very thankful for all of them and all their support. Yeah, it means a lot. Mate, um, Chris Richards talks about you as being like a sort of Jose Altuve type player, just, you know, can play multiple positions, you know, hard working, prepared to graft it out. Is, is, that, is he someone that you look up to, um, Jose Altuve I'm talking about, or is is that just a, just a comparison? No, nah, yeah, always looked up to Jose Altuve when I first started in um, baseball. Chris, a few other people like Pinky um, said to me that they rem- uh, remind them of Jose Altuve. And ever since I've been watching them, like just being real inspired by how he plays, like being small in stature, like me, I can relate to that. And yeah, just the way he plays the game just real ins- inspires me. And yeah, want to like one day end up trying to be like him. Mate, you're obviously a very talented sportsman. Um, first 15 at Scots College. Uh, we know that you, in terms of your softball, your absolute gun. Uh, you're in the wider Black Sox group, which is which is very exciting. Is is that is there sort of a choice for you at, at some point, or are you trying to um, play as many different sports as you can for as long as you can? Uh, no, yeah. at some point there's probably going to have to be a stage where I have to pick a sport. But at the moment, I'm just trying to play all three codes for as long as I can. I enjoy them all, and they give me different skills and like lifestyle skills, I guess. And yeah, just love all three, and just want to keep playing them until. The day comes where I have to pick, but now yeah, just loving playing all three right now. And does it sort of help complement, you know, what you learn in one sport? You know, it's particularly baseball and softball, given that they are they are so similar. Is is there a lot that you can translate from one to the other? Yeah, especially with baseball and softball, similar sports. So first started off in softball, and then um, a few baseball started down in Wellington, and then they said to you know come give it a go, like the likes of Craig Wallace, uh, Blake Eastop, and they said come give it a go. I gave it a go, I enjoyed it. And yeah, both both of them are pretty similar, which was like easy to transfer back over to baseball, and just I guess um, bettering my skills in both sports, which is pretty cool. Mate, obviously COVID permitting, what what's sort of on the agenda for you over the next few months? Um, there's obviously Black Sox softball to to consider. Yeah. Pathways starts in April. You know, I understand you're hoping to to play a little bit with Hutt Valley. Uh, in terms of baseball and that, what, what's the immediate sort of plans over the next few months for you? Uh, next few months, uh, softball's just started up, so right into that. And then, yeah, probably softball for most of this year and carrying on to next year. And whenever the tour tire pops up, then carry on with that. And hopefully they don't clash. But if they do, then I guess they will, we'll have to make a choice here. But at the moment, yeah, just giving both of them a good go. Now, rugby's finished now last year in school so just put rugby aside for a bit and then focus on uh, softball and baseball awesome mate well look you um, play both sports for as long as you can i would be the advice mate um enjoy it as as much as you can can't go wrong playing sport um congratulations on on uh on your your uh appointments and uh, best luck for the for the weeks ahead over summer mate thank you